Good Soup, day one. This is Good Soup, episode one. Now the purpose of this video is to go over pozole verde with lamb. This is not a traditional protein for pozole, but I'm partnering with American lamb and I wanted to make something from my childhood and combine it. Good Soup is back, so you gotta comment down below what soup you wanna see next. I wanna see them in the comments so I can use them in my next video. In case you've never shucked corn before, here you go. Take it from the top and you just snap it and then pull. You might be wondering what this is for. Take a bowl and inside of that bowl, put a smaller bowl. And typically what I would do at work is just cut the corn like that. But if you wanna take care of your knives, you can get a small cutting board and put that on top like so. Save your corn stalks. You're gonna want these for the soup. They also make a very good stock if you ever just wanna make a nice stock. Hatch green chili. Onion, green chili, oregano, cumin, garlic, salt, rice vinegar, rice oil. And then I'm gonna be using some all-American lamb shank. This stuff is beautiful and you can use whatever meat you want, but I'm gonna use lamb for this recipe. It's gonna be a really nice flavor. I'm going to bring this up to a simmer for about three to four hours. So I'm gonna do is toast off some cumin. This will really bring out the flavor from the cumin crema. I'll take the bottoms of the cilantro stems and then I'll blend them up into the crema. Coriander crema to go right on top as a garnish. Now once the shanks are fork tender like this, it's pretty much done. I can remove all of my corn husks as well and set those into the trash. Toss in the corn. Fresh cilantro. Yum. I can adjust the flavor later with some lime and salt, but for now, you can also do this as an optional thing. I currently have these really nice hash green chilies. Now, since I have these hash green chilies, what I'll do is maybe char one, cut it up, and put it into my soup. The skin feels right off, and I would not recommend doing this barehanded because these can be quite spicy. Of course, we gotta have our corn tortillas with this, everybody. I'm just using store-bought, pre-made stuff. No big deal here. When I grew up, we would go buy them at the grocery store. They came in ice chests. They were already warmed and ready to go. Even at the gas stations, they have them like that in my hometown. For tortillas, just a cast iron skillet should do. Rub it down with a touch of oil. Get it really ripping hot. As you can see, this thing is kind of smoking. Put it into a towel. That should keep them warm and thus keeping them nice and soft as well. What bowl do I choose? Let me know which bowl you like in the comments down below. I personally, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It just matches the vibe. Chile Verde American Lamb Pozole. This is so good. The hatch green chili is a bit spicy, but 
This works. This is my first time making a pozole verde, and I gotta say it's a must. That is a damn good soup. You guys, comment down below if you want me to do a pozole rojo video. That's the kind that I grew up eating. Actually, I actually grew up eating a menudo. I never really had pozole until I moved up north. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna have the recipe for this in the description. So go ahead and just check out the description if you want the recipe for this. Um, but yeah, good soup is back, everybody. Good soup is back. It's only gonna be on long form video, so keep that in mind. Um, if you want pozole next, I kinda want you to say pozole next because I wanna make pozole next. Uh, comment it down below. 